guys, I'm going to be using City Mouse and Country Mouse because they're both on the right side of this one. Pick this at random, and I hope people enjoy it and we make them happier. Once upon a time, a city mouse went to visit his cousin in the country. The country mouse was happy to see his cousin. The country mouse did not have fine food, but he was happy to share what he had with the city mouse. The city mouse turned up his nose at the country food, and he invited his cousin to have dinner with him in the city. No sooner said than done. The two mice set off for the city. At last, they came to the home of the city mouse. It was very late at night. The city mouse led the country mouse right into a grand dining room. The leftovers of a fine feast were still on the table. Soon, the two mice were eating jam and cake and all that was nice. Suddenly, they heard growling and barking. All at once, the door flew open and in came two huge dogs. Both mice ran for their lives. The country mouse made up his mind to go back to the country that very night. Good is fine food if you can't enjoy it. It'd be much better to. Sorry, my dog just not going away. It's much better to eat plain food in peace. So there's like multiple fairy tales I'm gonna be reading them because I mean, yeah, cheering people up makes me happy too. The Lion and the Mouse. Many of you have probably heard this story. Once while Lion was sleeping, a little mouse ran up and down his back. Soon the Lion woke up and put his big paw on the mouse. He opened his big jaws to swallow him. The mouse begged the lion to let him go. He promised to help the lion someday. The lion laughed at the thought of his little mouse helping a gray lion. But he looked at his paw and he let the mouse go. Not long after, the mouse saw the lion, the lion tied to a tree. The lion had been trapped by some hunters. The little mouse went up to the great lion, and he gnawed right through the ropes. Soon, the lion was free. Wasn't I right, said the little mouse to the lion. Little friends can do great things. And this is the last story called Belling the Cat. I've never heard this one, but I hope it's good. Long ago, the mice had a meeting to talk about their enemy, the cat. What could they do about her? Some said this and some said that, but at last, a young mouse got up and said he had an idea. moves without making a sound, he said. That's why we're always in danger. And, he said, if we could hear her coming, it would be easy for us to run away. Now, my idea is this. We will tie a bell around the cat's neck. Then whenever she moves, we will hear her. 
or we can run away. The mice clapped and cheered until an old mouse got up and said, That is all very well, but which one of you is going to put the bell on the cat? The mice looked at one another in silence. And no one ever spoke of belling the cat. So that was City Mouse and Country Mouse. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone stays positive out there. Bye.